Hello, in this video, we will learn more about artificial intelligence. Human beings have natural intelligence. We start learning from the time we are born and based upon our years of experience, we can think, analyze and then solve the problems. Similarly, when a machine builds the ability to form cognitive functions such as learning, reasoning, problem solving, decision making, perceiving, similar to humans, then it is called artificial intelligence. Some examples of artificial intelligence are Sophie, the humanoid, Alexa, Siri, recommendation algorithms in Netflix, Amazon, self-driven cars such as Tesla, etc. Let's take a look at the history of AI. Even before the word AI was coined, in 1950, Alan Turing developed the Turing test which determines whether a machine can think like a human. In 1956, John McCarthy coined the term artificial intelligence. The first running AI program was demonstrated at Carnegie Mellon University. In 1965, Joseph Weizenbaum at MIT built ELISA, an interactive program that carries on a dialogue in English, like chatbots. In 1969, scientists at Stanford Research Institute developed Shaky, a robot equipped with locomotion, perception, and problem solving. In 1979, the first computer-controlled autonomous vehicle, Stanford CART, was built. In 1980s and 1990s, there has been a major advancement in all areas of AI, leading to the Deep Blue Chess program beating the then world chess champion, Garry Kasparov, in 1997. In 2002, iRobot launched Roomba Vacuum Cleaner, which used AI to avoid obstacles. In 2011, Apple introduced personal assistant Siri, and in 2014, Amazon launched Alexa. In 2015, Tesla introduced auto drive feature. In 2016, AlphaGo beats Go champion. In 2016, Hanson Robotics introduced Sophia, the first AI-based humanoid robot, which is the first robot to be granted citizenship of Saudi Arabia in 2017. We are still far away from machines behaving like humans. So artificial intelligence is divided into these three different categories based upon capacity of intelligent program. First is narrow or weak AI. An artificial intelligence is said to be narrow when the machine can perform a specific task better than a human. It is specialized in one area but is not general purpose intelligence. For example, the current research of AI is here now and all examples shared earlier like Tesla, Siri and Alexa are a part of narrow AI. Next is general or strong AI. An artificial intelligence reaches the general state when it can perform any intellectual task with the same accuracy level as a human would. The future is building super AI. Artificial super intelligence, ASI, will surpass human intelligence in all aspects, from creativity to general wisdom to problem solving. AI is strong when it is smarter than the best human brains in practically every field. This is considered the ultimate power of AI. We will need development in broad set of branches to achieve super intelligence. First is robotics, which is designing and constructing robots. The robots need to have vision, which is some kind of machine vision through which we can achieve image recognition. It also needs speech capability to convert text to speech and speech to text. It also needs natural language processing or NLP capabilities which means it should have linguistic capability, which is able to translate languages, such as English. Then it should be able to classify and construct meaning out of it, means think and understand. Next, it should extract meaningful information out of it and react accordingly. This is natural language processing. AI machines also need to have machine learning capabilities, which can be a mix of supervised, unsupervised and deep learning. AI has a broad application. In the field of e-commerce, companies like Amazon are already using AI to build personal relationships with customers. They use AI to show recommendations on which products to buy based upon user data. They use natural language processing to boost search relevance and product awareness for business. In the field of social media, it is being used to personalize experience for users. Facebook and Twitter use AI to handle spam and hate abuse. Facebook is able to build advanced face recognition with 85% accuracy. In the field of healthcare, they can help us to make more accurate diagnostics and treatment. 
for example, Path AI. Similarly, another product, Atomwise, is using AI and deep learning to facilitate drug discovery. In the field of finance, we have RoboAdvisor, an automated portfolio manager. Betterment is another automated financial investing platform that uses advanced algorithms for market forecasting and for portfolio management. In travel and transportation, Google Maps uses AI to make commuting easier. Chatbots are providing human-like interaction for faster response times. Now, let's look at some advantages and disadvantages of AI. In AI, the decisions are taken from the previously gathered information and applying a certain set of algorithms. This leads to a reduction in human error. For example, in weather forecasting using AI, they have reduced the majority of human error. We can also utilize AI to build intelligent robots, which can do the risky things for us, like defusing a bomb, deep mining, or handling any kind of natural or man-made disasters. AI also help in faster decision-making and are also available 24 by 7. For example, AI chatbots can handle queries 24 by 7 without any breaks. Personal assistants like Apple's Siri and Google's Alexa are frequently used in our daily routine to make life easier. There are some disadvantages of AI too. Setting up of AI-based machines, computers, etc. entails huge costs given the complexity of the engineering that goes into building one. AI is replacing majority of repetitive tasks and other works with robots. This has led to concerns of human unemployment in the future. AI performs tasks for which it is designed to do only. Due to this, team management and creativity suffers. There is also a concern that AI will go out of hand and can lead to human civilization getting destroyed. So, to sum it up, artificial intelligence is trying to revolutionize the world. We are still at early stages, but the journey over the next few years is going to be very exciting. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe and keep watching more. Goodbye.